Havel M6 is a mid-size crossover with a body length of 4,664mm and a wheelbase of 2,680mm. In this regard, most of the owners chose it because of its spacious interior. According to car enthusiasts from the Middle Kingdom, not only children can sit in the back row of the M6 without any problems, it is also quite suitable for three adult passengers. Also, the second row is very comfortable due to the lack of a central tunnel, because the M6 can only be front-wheel drive. Consequently, its design does not provide space for a drive shaft. Also, the interior was praised not only for the amount of space. The owners also mentioned good functional equipment. So, already in the basic configuration in China it is equipped with a rear-view camera, and cruise control is available for a small surcharge. These options were rated as one of the most pleasant. Many owners in China said that before purchasing they were worried whether the 1.5-liter engine would have enough power to propel the rather large M6. In fact, 150 horsepower. It's enough for him to drive confidently in the city cycle. Note that these reviews mainly concern the power plant with a 7-speed robot. Owners of this version note stable acceleration and traction. But the dynamics of this internal combustion engine still have their limits, the M6 noticeably decays after 120 km per hour. And it's a bit difficult for him to drive in mountainous areas. But in an urban environment, this crossover feels great. Of course, this is a subjective point. However, most owners in the Middle Kingdom named the appearance of the M6 as the final argument in favor of its purchase. At the same time, the owners talk about both the exterior and interior of the crossover. Many people like its wrapper due to its recognizable, severe appearance. And in the cabin, car enthusiasts are attracted by the interesting design of the center console and large touch screen. Precise steering and an effective braking system have become one of the advantages of the Havel M6. It follows the steering wheel well and the brake pedal is very intuitive. As a result, the braking process becomes transparent and predictable. Many owners noted that it was its obedience that made the process of maneuvering and parking easier, because the M6 itself is quite large. It's worth adding here that, as part of a test by one of the Chinese media, the Havel M6 was able to pass the Moose test at a speed of 70 km per hour. But we are not sure how correctly the test was organized and the distance between turns was verified. However, the video shows that the M6 did not roll much and followed the steering wheel well. However, in the test it was compared with the Honda CRV, and the Japanese crossover managed to maneuver at higher speeds. That is, we can say that the M6 handles slightly worse than the CRV. The combination of price and quality is perhaps the main argument in favor of buying a Havel M6 in China. Its owners noted that this is a fairly affordable car with plenty of space in the cabin, good equipment, and a good design for little money. Low price in this case means the amount of 87.9 thousand yuan, 1.1 million rubles. This is how much the most popular M6 trim costs in the Middle Kingdom. It is equipped with the already mentioned rear view camera and cruise control, so important for car enthusiasts in the Middle Kingdom. And for an additional payment of 1,000 yuan, owners also receive a 12.3 inch screen. The listed advantages justify the purchase of this car in the eyes of Chinese car enthusiasts. Thanks to them, they are ready to close their eyes to some shortcomings. What are the disadvantages we are talking about? We continue to analyze real reviews from Havel M6 owners. Complaints about the gearbox are a traditional disadvantage for many Havel cars. We are talking about a robotic transmission with two wet clutches. This gearbox is criticized for its abrupt gear changes, especially when driving at low speeds. A number of owners noted that when driving in traffic at a leisurely pace, the box begins to throw between first and second speeds. In this case, downshifting to first is accompanied by a distinct click. As a result, the gearbox was singled out as one of the M6 main shortcomings. We previously wrote that the Havel M6 handles well and monitors the steering wheel. It seems that the price for its stability on the road surface was the softness of the suspension. Owners call the Havel M6 hard and note that it is difficult to get over speed bumps. At this time, the interior is noticeably shaking. And small irregularities when driving at low speed are also clearly transmitted to the cabin. As a result, the M6 Comfort suffers when driving on poor quality roads. If Russia does not work on its suspension, this could become a significant problem. To some extent, high fuel consumption is a typical complaint of Chinese car enthusiasts. 
The fact is that in the celestial empire, prices for fuel are quite high, and therefore owners always take hostility to exceeding the passport gasoline consumption indicators. So, with a specified consumption of 7.5 L-100 km for the version with a robotic gearbox, actual fuel consumption usually exceeded 9 L-100 km owners in China noted that when buying a car with a 1.5-liter engine, they expected its appetite to be smaller. The only thing that saves the situation is that the M6 can be refueled with AI-92 gasoline. Many owners criticized the Havel M6 for the poor quality of materials. They didn't like the quality of the seat upholstery, the eco-leather is too rough. They also complained about too much rattling plastic. The use of low-quality materials is evidenced by the smell of plastic in a new car. For some owners, the characteristic aroma did not disappear even after 5,000 kilometers, becoming very annoying. What surprised us was the fact that owners in the Middle Kingdom often encounter various problems when purchasing a Havel M6. This is quite strange, because this car is far from new to the Chinese market. Among minor breakdowns and malfunctions, software failures are mainly noted. Thus, a number of buyers experienced a failure of the descent assist system, and other owners complained about the failure of the air conditioner. The most critical failure can be called an unexpected failure of the gas pedal. It stopped responding to pressure while driving at high speed. It is worth noting that no one named the lack of all-wheel drive in China as a minus. The fact is that in the Celestial Empire, drive on both axles is considered an optional luxury, and most car enthusiasts do not need it at all. But on the Russian market, the lack of AWD may become one of the M6 strong drawbacks. Having studied real reviews, we see that the Havel M6 is a good car for the money, but it is not free from various kinds of shortcomings and sores. However, it still remains quite in demand in the Chinese market. We will soon find out how Russian car enthusiasts will accept it.